This is segment number five here at the Lake Superior Railroad Museum at the depot in downtown Duluth. We've had some great response from people that really do like these great little vignettes. And we've had some great ideas given to us for some future shows as well. So stay tuned and watch for your show in the very near future. In the meantime, I've got a special treat because, you know, again, we're closed, but we're opening up some of the exhibits that are even closed when we are open. Like this wonderful historic passenger car. And I'm going to bring in Tim Shandell, our curator, because he's going to tell you more about this than I will. Tim, can we go on board? Let's go on board. I'm inside the St. Paul and Pacific coach today. Um, as you look around the car, you know, it's a typical car of the 1880s, built of wood, lit by kerosene lights. It's uh, heated with coal stoves. Um, uh, a very typical car of the period, but uh, it's one of the reasons they got rid of the cars like this in, in any kind of accident. They were a, a rather dangerous piece of equipment. Uh, they would uh, tend to splinter on, a, on an accident, and they would uh, the coal stoves, the kerosene lights uh, would turn this into a, a quick, uh, quick bonfire. Uh, the car again is uh, is basically untouched from the uh, 1880s period. Um, still has pretty much all its original interior fixtures. It suffers from the uh, the uh, fact that it is as old as it is. It's been uh, it's been never been restored, so to speak, but it has been stabilized. Uh, the car uh, basically was stored in the St. Cloud car shops uh, in the 1950s. But prior to that, from the turn of the century of the 1950s, the uh, this car and its mate were used as uh, as touring uh, travel pieces with the William Crooks when it went out on display. And as such, the cars made it to, to the World's Fair in New York and Chicago. Um, the cars uh, the cars have been uh, in a number of uh, bond tours over the Great Northern Railroad, selling war bonds during World War II. Tim, you were mentioning about the uh, fact that this car and the one with it and the William Crooks were used to sell war bonds during World War II. Did any of that trip ever come to Duluth or the Twin Ports? Well, as a matter of fact, they uh, did operate near the Twin Ports. Uh, if you were to wander to the front of the museum, you'd find uh, photographic uh, evidence of that. There's a large poster photo uh, attached to the wall just to show the fact that Crooks was here. And that would have been about 1941 or 1942. So the car was in when it was used, and now it's in Duluth at the Lake Superior Railroad Museum, where it's a part of our history. Hey, it's crazy time, so please cover your mouth when you cough, always wash your hands, keep that social distance, and let's take care of each other.